Good evening, guys. I'm actually on the carpet today, and uh, what a lovely place it is to be. Absolutely lovely down here on this new carpet next to my DeLonghi heater. Now, earlier on this afternoon, well, in fact, how long ago was it? It was early evening, it was one hour ago. Um, so, I've just got my phone here and I had a message from Clive, and uh, this is the, just the kind of messages we like because it starts off love your channel your tips have been very useful to me <laughs> clive we love you already thank you very much um and then he goes on to say that I have a 2019 Swift uh, 694 I saw your review um, on the small oil filled radiator my little DeLonghi and uh, the one I love um, do you leave it unattended in your motorhome for some reason, all the oil-filled radiators have always uh, not to leave them unattended. I guess it's just to cover their... Yeah. Well, I think, um, I think you're dead right, Clive. At the end of the day, we have had this little unit here for something like uh, 15 years, some of that. This unit, 15 years old, DeLonghi, I think it cost us about 70 quid all them years ago. And it's been probably one of the... I, well, this has been absolutely bulletproof. Um, so at the moment, it's just on tick over. Uh, so if I, uh, so it's a thermostatically controlled. So obviously, if the, as the temperature warms up in the motorhome, it will just automatically cut off. So at the moment, it's switched on with the little red light on the switch will be off at the moment because it's. Um, so if I just wind, hang on, let me just come around that side a minute, and I'll just want it's really hot. But um, I think the name of the game is, they say, like, do not cover heaters, stuff like that. They can overheat, you know. But um, if I just wind that up a little bit, there. There goes the light. So I've just wound it up to nearly three, and the light comes on. So then it will just reheat up. So we're lucky enough to be on a hookup here uh, at home. Um, so we, this is what we, this is how we do it. We just like leave this one in here, ticking over, so it just keeps it all nice and uh, nice and toasty. So um, how good's that? And like I say, this thing for cost effect and what we'll do now is not only do we just um, um do we l use it here uh we stow it we we literally i used to have the box the, the the box got tattered um so i don't use the box anymore but we just wind the wire around the base and we normally tuck it under our table securely so uh, you can travel with it and it's um it's, it never it never falls over you know nice steady draw it never falls over it's pretty um pretty uh, weighty and stuff but um, absolutely no problem. So then, if we end up on a anywhere where we're um, getting electricity, getting um, 240 volts, this goes on prior our blown gas heating. You know, the thing is, obviously, the blown gas heating <coughs> distributes the heat all over the motorhome, which is really cool. That right? No, that's warm. Um, yeah, it's really warm, and um, it, it gets in all them little crevices, is up around the beds, and uh, so it blows it all over the place. So, but to be honest, this one, when it's not too bad, we'll just leave it here on the mat by the doorway, ticking over. We don't get it too close to anything. You know, we're always um, particular in the position it goes, and it normally will just stand inside the door here, away from any um, anything in close box proximity and uh, so the heat is just rocketing up straight up to the ceiling and uh, flowing around the motor home keeping a nice little ambient uh, temperature so Clive I hope that's kind of answered your question and we've never had any issues with this um, in all the time we've had it and I'll tell you now if ever it packed up I wouldn't hesitate to go out and buy one exactly the same as this we've actually seen them on the way you know we we and we still comment it's like oh there's the new style one now you know the model that we've got they progress on but basically it's exactly the same and so we move on to the next little item that i've got to show you guys tonight is um so anybody just watched the recent video on me installing my little truma uh, condensation in the winter the little spout that goes beyond the outlet um so 
anybody that watched that, yeah, this is another great device. Another great device if you're uh, going winter camping, it sends that ice. Um, the, the, the condensation will not drip down the side of your motorhome and not cause a big stain down the side of your motorhome. It will drip the water down onto the deck. So another great device. But I've got to say a shout out to Michael that um, he watched the video and he said thanks very much for the information about this. And he was looking to get one because he was getting that uh, staining down the side of his white Bursner. Um, previously having a gold one and a silver one, I believe, Michael but uh, so, so then he went on to tell me Joff do you actually use one of the hose lock connections on your water tank and I'm kind of like no Michael I don't so uh, do I need to um, do I need to be using one of these I know exactly what you mean and uh, he's recommended it he said you need to get one of these Joff if you haven't got one get one and uh, anyway what happened with me I started like um, having a little look and I'm kind of like this is looking like a really good idea uh, so I'm normally I'll tell you now I'm normally stood there with my hose and uh, again it's sometimes a um, b b um, yeah because I've got one of them that you can kind of turn off but sometimes it's a bit of an operation where uh, we use uh, Caroline like right turn the tap on here we go then let's crack on but um, imagine sort of doing that if you can just like turn that tap on and go and not have any wastage no no oh turn it off duh, spraying water everywhere so i took your advice michael and got on to amazon which i will plug in the link on this video um so we ended up with another sneaky little box coming through and uh, this has basically come all the way from Germany and uh, I did actually have a look on the map today to see where these guys are located and they're down not too far away from Frankfurt in Germany so um, to be honest so I've opened the box there is my little um, water coupling and uh, there is my little invoice so this here let's just have a look at the uh, the price on this so this has come from germany and it came as a total and uh, 26 81 so it's not the cheapest thing on the planet um but this is good quality and i think to be honest you're only going to need one of these in your lifetime so this has actually come from a camper station um i'll hold it up to the camera so you can see their little logo there and uh, like i say there's the connection and it has not been out of the bag so i'm itching to get this out of the bag shouldn't be doing this don't watch this at home i've got scissors in the back but uh, I, <laughs> occasionally it's a bit like Christmas, isn't it? And uh, when you've got a little quality item, I think I'm still going to have to get my... This is a heavy duty bag. So I'll give it the little snip and uh, we're in. So uh, let's get this open. We've got some little uh, information pamphlets there. And uh, in that little picture, you can see um, the style of water tank that we've got in this motorhome. I'll just try and get that up a little bit uh, there. It's just coming into focus there. And uh, this is for this style of water tank. So our water tank is behind the little locker door. And uh, there she is. So this will screw on to the tank and then it will be left uh, in position. It will not um, eject the water out of it. Uh, there is a little tiny cap that fits. So this is where the hose lock connector will fit on, on the end of there. Okay. And uh, straight away it feels really good quality there are you've got to double check the thread in this to make sure you get the right thread there is a fine thread and a coarse thread and this is for the for the bursting one that we've got here we need the coarse thread so it'll just screw on to the tank that's going to sit in behind on the spout and then it's going to be just so neat to put that on the end look and it fits so well look at that boom boom bang on there like that 
So uh, I don't know if that's the same as yours, Michael, but I am super excited about this, mate, because it's a quality, and this is going to make the job of filling that water tank so much easier. I'm definitely uh, impressed. So uh, let's just see what else we got on this little pamphlet. Um, just a little information pamphlet, I believe. Um, yeah, it's all up pretty straightforward, really. So... Um, it's dark at the moment. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this in here because we, this weekend, we've got something pretty special on. And uh, again, <laughs> we've managed to scoop, come up trumps again. How do we do it? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm not going to give away the secret of what we're going to be doing this weekend. So you'll have to wait and see. So uh, tune in the weekend and uh, hopefully I should have an update video on Friday night and uh, show you where, what we're up to, where we're at, what we're up to. And uh, then uh, over the weekend period, I'm going to get this little baby installed up and uh, see how it pans out. So uh, and I'm... I'm excited about this. Get one of the, if you're into this kind of swag, get one of these, if you know someone that's into this kind of swag, um, get, get them one for Christmas and they'll go, what the hell's, and they'll go, oh my God, that's the gift that I've always wanted. If you're a serious motor owner, um, so they do other styles. Um, they do the other style of one where it'll fit on um, the external style, where it will screw on, screw in, and then you just put the hose up, which we, a lot of people, I don't know, maybe, um, you know, we, we sort of keep an eye on this sort of stuff. And um, yeah, a lot of people are using these things, but um, this is a great one for the uh, internal uh, water tank. And uh, there is, they, they show one with a um, kind of spout, um, chasson maybe the, the, the thing is what you got to remember is there's so many again different models and stuff so uh, get one for Christmas for someone who loves a motor home as much as we do but um, okay I'm going to leave this am I going to leave this video here um, or am I going to show you my carpet again but I'm going to um, tuck that back in the box and I'm uh, going to leave that there so what happened this week um, if you saw the video last week of the carpet being, where we put down the carpet, I had to remove it again because the floor was not clean. Um, it wasn't that bad, but um, I was insisted by Caroline, you need to hoover that motor home right out. So last night, um, I, so we, we did use it the weekend, as you know, we were down Cofton, um, and uh, that was our last uh, weekend without the carpet. So last night I got in here, I said, right, I, I need to get that carpet back down. I need to get it sort of like settling, and uh, I was really super excited about getting it down. Um, I've got my slippers on, so uh, it's lovely to come in with your, with your carpet on the floor. But... Um, so I, I, I vacuumed the whole motor room through last night. I got some um, of these antibacterial wipes and went right around the edges and uh, got it super clean, ready for this new carpet. How good is it looking? And uh, what I've done is um, the little blue mats that we've been having in the summer, I've, vac I've, I've cleaned them, I've beat them, got all the dust out of them. So uh, just on the little, so the carpet just comes back um, and stops there it just allows you to pull out the bottom drawer um, the, of the steps so uh, the, like I say the carpet stops there so if we need to open that drawer you uh, don't need to rip up the carpet but um, there we're going to utilize these little mats just keep them in there so you can walk up uh, get on the steps get into um, into the uh, beds but uh, Look at this carpet, and there's me just shimmying around on my uh, in my uh, slippers. But I'm um, looking down through, and again by the door where you walk in, little uh, mat there as well, just to um, just just to walk in on, step on that, and uh, like I say, that's where my little DeLonghi sits, so the carpet goes all through, I've done this, <laughs> I love it, absolutely, so uh, massive, again, thanks to Gerald that sorted these out, I'll put his link in again to this video, so if anybody hasn't seen um, these carpets before, and uh, look at these, um, look at the edge in, this is where I'm just letting it settle now, but um, so just letting the edge in, and uh, let it all settle down but it's look at this it's just super nice it just looks so homely in here it's absolutely incredible 
so um, we'll put Gerald's um, yeah, website in again save a space and uh, the guys that uh, manufacture these superb carpets So I'm going to leave this video here guys, I'm going to get it and edit it, it is on uh, Tuesday night, so it's a Tuesday night video, I'm probably going to be back maybe on Thursday night with a little update, I've got a little bit more information to tell you about Brittany Ferries, uh, and um, yeah, so um, keep an eye on the videos, give us a thumbs up, uh, hope we've um, uh, maybe given you some ideas, and uh, always appreciate a thumbs up or a comment, uh, either way, appreciation uh, for showing your appreciation to us for doing this kind of content so uh, thanks guys for watching and we look forward to seeing you mighty soon on the next video thank you